Skoda has taken the wraps off the second-generation Kodiak RS SUV. It gets a sportier exterior with blacked-out elements, a more powerful engine and a few updates to the chassis. There's also more kit on the inside and the option of new colors. Here's everything you need to know about the 2025 Skoda Kodiak RS. Skoda has slapped a ton of blacked-out elements to the exterior of the Kodiak RS including a gloss black radiator grille, ORVMs, window frames, roof rails, rear skid plate and D-pillar bodywork. The Skoda lettering on the tailgate is also finished in gloss black. It also boasts an illuminated grille, 20-inch Elias rims and red brake calipers. Skoda is offering this SUV in eight colors including a new Bronx gold metallic shade. On the inside, buyers can choose between two trims, the standard RS Sudia trim gets perforated Sudia and leatherette upholstery whereas the optional RS Suite trim adds full leather upholstery. The dashboard and door cards are also trimmed in the same materials in the respective material for each variant. Both the trims get single-piece seats up front with integrated headrests and contrasting red stitching. Taking center stage on the dash is a 13-inch infotainment touchscreen which supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and the driver gets a 10-inch virtual cockpit. Other touches include red stitching on the three-spoke steering wheel and a black headliner. More features on the Kodiak RS include an optional Canton surround sound system, keyless entry and matrix LED headlights with light animations. Powering this Czech SUV is a 2-liter turbo petrol engine making 261 horsepower and 400 newton meters, which is 20 horsepower more than its predecessor. This engine propels the Kodiak RS from 0 to 100 kmh in a surprisingly quick 6.3 seconds and to a top whack of 231 kilometers per hour. This engine is paired to a 7-speed DSG which sends power to all four wheels, making the RS all-wheel drive. To improve handling Skoda has given this SUV progressive steering and DCC Plus adaptive chassis system, which comes with a wider range of settings than in the first generation. It offers seven modes, Eco, Comfort, Normal, Sport, Individual, Snow and also a special off-road mode. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting car reviews.